the biggest problem and challenge during the holiday season is money. Hey there, Vanessa here with The Soul Restored, where I help bring sanity back to every aspect of your life. In today's video, I'm going to show you how for years when money was super tight, we were able to have an awesome Christmas and really give great gifts to ourselves and to loved ones on a super small budget without sacrificing quality. I'm going to share with you all of the tips and tricks that have been successful for my family so that we could have an awesome holiday. First of all, I want you to make two lists. One of all of the expenses that you will have this holiday season, whether it's a live Christmas tree, Christmas cards, anything like that. Then the next list will be all of the people that you need to buy presents for. If you can cross off anyone or anything from either list, I would suggest you do that now. Then I want you to think ahead. How much cash money do you have right now? And how much will you have by the time you want to be done shopping? I like to have all of my gifts purchased by Thanksgiving. So I think about all the money that I have right now to spend and how much I will be saving by Thanksgiving and that is what my budget is, okay? So think about that, write it down, give yourself a limit of money, a budget, and decide what you can spend on all of the holiday expenses and the people. Then go ahead and cry because you've just come to a realization that everything is super expensive and it's gonna be rough, but it's gonna be okay, folks. I'm gonna show you how to make it work. In all seriousness, there were many years that Darren and I had such limited funds that we did our entire Christmas for 250 bucks. And that was 14 people, charity, neighbors, extended family, and coworkers. And we were able to do Christmas for all of those people and it was still pretty dang awesome and we didn't feel like we were sacrificing we still were very fulfilled on christmas day and we felt like we really were able to spoil the people that we loved and share with everyone that was important to us during the season so it really will work out next i want you to look at the list of people that you want to shop for and you need to assign gifts to each person this is hugely important not only will you save money actually assigning a gift to them because you're going to start looking for the best price of those specific items, you're also going to save time not going through stores hoping to find that special thing. So write down something as specific as you can for that person, what you're going to get them. Then you're going to go through all the ads that you've received in the mail, all of the coupons, look online, do your research, and find out where the best sales are happening. Use the best coupons to get the best deal on those items. Then start to make notations of prices for each of the things that you're purchasing on the people list and also on the things list, the other holiday expenses list. Once you've figured this out and you figured out how much you can spend on each person, how much everything is realistically going to cost you, now it's a good time to readjust. Either you need to add money to your budget or I suggest you take people or things off your list or you minimize the amount that you're spending on each person or thing. Also, another way to be able to afford inexpensive gifts for people is think about who you can buy bulk gifts for whether it's coworkers, neighbors, and even extended family, or people that love you regardless of the gift that you give them, like parents. Go ahead and put a star next to those people. And then think of a bulk gift that you can buy for super cheap that you can give each of those people. Whether it's candies and chocolates from Costco or a grocery store that has candy bins, or making a bazillion chocolate chip cookies and just putting them in little baggies, go ahead and think of the bulk gift that's going to work best for you and those people and do something like that so that you can save the most amount of money and put more of your money towards the people and the items that are a bigger priority for you. That sounded super harsh. Don't show this video 
to those people that you crossed off the list. Show it with everyone else. Show it to everyone else, obviously. Just not the people that you officially checked off your list. Now if you are realizing that you truly do not have the funds to buy the things and for the people that you need to, this is where you need to make some more dough. Let me give you some suggestions. There's been a couple of years where Darren and I have just sold things. Not like couches or beds or things that we really needed, but we went through closets and rooms and sold things that we really weren't using, things that we really didn't need, things that we were sick of and were happy to sell and were able to make a ton of money to completely cover the cost of Christmas. If you are local to Utah, you can sell things on KSL Classifieds. If not, there's always Craigslist, there's Facebook Marketplace, and there's Facebook Yard Sales for whatever town or city you're in. Those are super awesome ways to sell in whatever state you're in, as well as eBay. So really, it's a great way to earn money for Christmas as well, and it helps to declutter your house. It's a win-win. Also, if you have a vehicle that is a 2003 or newer, you can sign up for Uber and Lyft. And you don't need to go outside of your normal route or commute. Just look for people that are taking about the same commute that you are and make money on the side just going to and from places you already would be driving to. Online surveys, there's tons of companies that you can take surveys for and help them do research and then you get paid. Also secret shopping. I have personally done it and I'm kind of stingy. I don't like to do them unless I'm making a minimum of $25 and I've made up to $100 for certain jobs and it was fun and easy to do. Now don't forget, if you're doing online shopping anyway, make sure that you go through Ebates. Ebates is an awesome cash back service that literally is linked to any online store that you can think of. And when you sign up for it, you just do your shopping like normal and you get cash back by going through Ebates. It's a super easy way to make money. Now you're going to print off a calendar and you're going to write in the expiration dates of all of your coupons and all of the sales that are going on for any of the stores that you need to shop at. This is a really great way to stay on top of getting your shopping done, knowing when it needs to be done by. And during this time, give yourself a deadline so that you can eliminate the stress of shopping at the very last second and shopping in desperation and dealing with something that is outside of your budget because you waited too long and you missed the sales and you're desperate to just check it off your list. Find apps like Flip that will help you to save money on groceries for all of your meals and holiday baking. Another way to save a ton of money is to follow frugal living and budget bloggers. They will inform you of tons of sales that are going on, even give you exclusive deals and coupon codes that you wouldn't normally have access to and give you other privileges because of the clout that they have with these companies. It's a really great way to do some shopping. And they will have links from their blogs to these stores as well. And remember, if you have the plugin for Ebates, you will still be able to get the Ebates cash back and use the bloggers exclusive deals and coupons. Make sure after you have written the list of your expenses and the people that you're shopping for that you create some sort of a chart to track all of these expenses. The last thing that you want to do is spend money outside of your budget. You've created these two lists. You know what you're going to buy, how much you can spend. Everything measured improves. So if you are tracking all of your expenses and you know how much everything is going to cost, you are more likely, way more likely to spend less money and to be more cautious about the money that you have left so you're not making any impulsive decisions and you're staying within that budget. Okay, now charity. Oftentimes we feel like if we have no money ourselves or we're struggling to pay for Christmas ourselves that we shouldn't give. But I promise you that when we give to others, 
it not only fills our cup and helps us to get a better perspective on how much we really do have, it blesses someone else's life. So it's really awesome and always worth it, even if you can do something very, very small. So one year with coupons and sales, I was able to go to Joanne's Fabric and get eight blankets worth of fleece and we only spent 25 to 30 bucks and we actually saved 130 or 140 dollars because I shopped at the right time, I waited for the sales and I used my coupons. We just tied those blankets and gave them to the children's hospital. My kids were able to help as well as some neighbors and it was such an awesome situation and it didn't break the bank. Another thing that we did was we took some items that we already had at home and bought a few others from the dollar bins in the hygiene section at Walmart, and we made little snack and toiletry bags for the homeless. I think we were able to make 20 or 25 bags, and I think in all we spent maybe 40 or $50. So that was another great way to spend some money, not too much, and really give back to other people. Some other great ways are Toys for Tots and Angel Trees. Angel Trees, you literally choose whatever item is in your budget that you can buy for someone else. You buy that gift, hand it in, and you're done. And you've done something really, really awesome for someone else. And a lot of times your kids can be involved as well. And so it's extra special for them. Then Toys for Tots, there is no price discrimination or limit or minimum. You are literally able to buy any toy that you want, even from the clearance section, and donate it to Toys for Tots. And again, your kids can be involved. They can think it's super, super fun. They're thinking of other kids that are in greater need than them, and you're able to do it as inexpensively as you want to. Now that you have all of this awesome information and tips that I have used myself that have really blessed my family and others, get her done. Get her done. Go get your shopping done. And enjoy the rest of your season. You know what your deadline is. Finish it up and sit back and enjoy the true meaning of the season. Get your bucket lists out. Uh, if you haven't seen my last video, I will link it watch that make sure you have a bucket list item of all the activities and things that you want to do personally or with your family and friends so that you can really enjoy the season and not be stressed out so that you can remember the true meaning and have peace and joy during this awesome time thank you so much for watching if you like this video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and check out my other videos i give tons of tips on how to improve your life, how to overcome trauma, and during the season especially, how to eliminate stress and really enjoy this time of year. Thank you so much for watching.